This sector is now under my control. Stand down and prepare for Vega occupation. Hello everyone, this is Captain Silvan. Welcome aboard the Starship Enormal Prize for our first episode of Homeworld Wars Tournament. This is a new series that I've been kind of working on for a bit, so sorry if it hasn't been a Homeworld um, episode up for a while. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out who is the ultimate ion cannon frigate. So, in this one, or in this, um, in this tournament, we have, oh god, oh god, no, no, go away. Um, so in this episode, we have four, or in this sub-tournament, we have four contestants. We have the Kushan, Tidan, Higarn, and Tyrannigrators. The reason why is for the, um, for this tournament, we have a, set, a specific set of rules that we're going to be doing. First off, these are going to be 50 versus 50 fights. So we're going to have 50 Ion Cannon Frigates, a fight of 50 Ion Cannon Frigates, and see who wins in that little tournament, or in that little fight. And the team that loses, loses a life. Every every team has three lives. And the matchups are going to be um, determined by RNG. So, um... So it might be like Kushan might be fighting a lot, Tyrannic Raiders might be fighting a lot, who knows? It's all gonna be RNG based. And yeah, the last team that still has lives is gonna be the victor of the tournament and would be declared the ultimate Ion Can Frigate. Now also the reason why um, we're only having these four teams is because by definition to be an Ion Can Frigate, you have to be a Frigate class ship with one Ion Beam and nothing else. So we can't do multi-beam frigates because they have a lot of beams from the Kadesh. We can't do the Bentuzi because they have phase beams, not ion beams. And we can't do the, project, the progenitor, progenitors because of the same reason why um, that we can't do multi-beam frigates because uh, they have two ion beams instead of one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, th there's going to be a lot of cuts, there's going to be a lot of things going on. So this is a different style of video than I normally do, but hopefully you guys really enjoy the, the little change up. Because I, the problem with Homeworld Wars when it comes to FX Galaxy, um, FX Galaxy is a very fast-paced uh, multiplayer-focused mod, and because of that, tactical battles last like five, ten minutes at most. So doing a Homeworld Wars video um, is extremely short in this mod. So I, I think this is a good matchup or good mix up and plus it'll help us kind of understand like which iron hand frigate is better than the than the other ones so yeah without further ado let's get into the first match Okay, the RNG gods have decided that we are gonna. Ha our first match is gonna be the Kushan Ion Can Frigates versus the Higaran Ion Can Frigates. Um, this is actually an interesting matchup. I'm curious to see which one is more superior. The more advanced ones that have been compressed down and have like, I believe they actually have vents on the side to cool down the the ion beam. Um, as it goes through, or the, the particle beam as it goes through, or just the classic ion cannon frigates that were put together by the Bentuzi. Well, not put together by the Bentuzi, but we got the technology from the Bentuzi to fight off the Tyrannic Raiders to kill the carrier, so we quickly um, reverse engineered the assault frigate and, uh, and made it to where it has a gigantic particle beam. And I believe this one, I'm not exactly sure the background behind this, but if they had to put this thing together, I'm pretty sure they just had gi a huge, gigantic um, heat sinks built into it to absorb the heat as it goes through instead of venting it out into space, like the Ahugarans one. Anyways, um, before we actually get into the battle, let me go ahead and put on some battle music. So, um, let me go ahead and turn it up. Actually, never mind. Um, I'll do it in post. <laughs> Uh, let me get back in the game. Go ahead and uh, turn down the uh, music audio for now. Hmm, that didn't actually do anything. How come the audio is still playing even though it's muted? Must not be tied to this. Well, anyways, we'll do it this way then. 
We'll just stop that music and we'll turn my music on. There we go. I think I got it working. I accidentally deleted it from my playlist. So I was like, uh, crap, didn't mean to do that. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and initiate this first battle. So you guys, um, go ahead and engage your enemy. Target acquired. Where I will go ahead and do that on the other computer. And let's see who wins. Who will be the superior ion cannon frigate? Go ahead, set this up the way it's supposed to be. And here we go. Okay, we're dying quickly. Come on, boys. I'm cheering for death. Kushan and I can't forget, obviously. Go, go, go. Let's kill our enemies. Show them that we are the superior ones. I mean, they're dying kind of quickly, but they're doing a lot more damage to us. It does look like the, uh, they're starting, they're doing concentrated fire on like a handful of ones. Hmm. Indeed. Go, go, go! And so far, I can't actually tell you how many people we have. I do kind of miss the whole, like, original home of one things where, uh, where this would just be, like, a number up here in the top right corner that says, like, X whatever, so you know how many frigates you have left. And the Garmin's are still hanging on pretty well. Slowly wiping out all of our frigates. We're kind of doing the same thing. So far, <coughs> excuse me, so far this does look kind of even. But it kind of looks like the Agarans are starting to get the advantage. Come on, boys. Keep launching all those beams. Show them that heat sinks are more superior than venting. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, it's still getting pretty close. This is still a pretty close matchup. So many beams. Let's see, we have six left. The Higarns have, it looks like, 11 left. So I think the Higarns might have this. They may have just proved that venting, venting your, um, um, your heat into space is more effective than just having it as a gigantic heat sink that you could use as armor. That's why I always thought these guys had a whole bunch of armor. Two shines down to two. The Garns are down to nine. So it looks like the Higarns have this. Okay. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> okay. So it looks like the first matchup, um, the Higarns have won. Oh, I need to just switch over to Gadesh. Okay. So that means the. The Kushan are now down to two two lives, and Higarans get to keep their life because they they won the match. Okay, cool. So let's see what the next matchup will be. Alrighty, time to get ready for fight number two, which according to the RNG gods we. Are we're gonna have the Higarin Ion Cannon Frigates fight the Tidan Ion Cannon Frigates. Yeah, newly highly advanced Ion Cannon Frigates versus the old school Ion Cannon Frigates that the Tidan used to use to um, spread fear throughout the, uh, the galaxy.
So, without further ado, um, let's go ahead and uh, get into the match. Waiting orders. All you guys, Group one. go ahead and attack. attack vector laid in. And let me grab these ones and tell them to start attacking. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some. That's not how we. That's not how we do things. Oh, I'm controlling the wrong computer. There we go. And then I can do the same thing with you guys. Now we can see how many uh, iron can frigates we have left. Here we go. Go go go, Hikans! I believe in you. I believe that you can win this. Oh, so far it seems pretty matched. We're both at 42 and 42. Go, go, go. Do all of the beams. This would be a very interesting to see if you were like an interceptor just flying through the middle of all this chaos going on. Trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And so far we're still matched. 33, 33. These ones seem to be a very, very evenly matched. All of them shooting their beams and these guys venting out their beams. Where I think the advantage of the Titan, I, I think they're kind of the same as the uh, as the um, Kushan, where they just have giant heat sinks around the main uh, um, particle beam. Like wherever it launches its part of me from and uses that to absorb all the heat and radiates it out. I think. I don't know. I'm just saying things based off of designs. Okay, so so far it looks like the Higarans have gotten the lead. Actually, no, the Tidans got the lead. Um, 22 to 18 at the moment. Tidan is slowly advancing on the Higarans. So many beams! So many beams! So many beams. Ooh, that guy's dying pretty quickly. Okay, okay. Looks like the Titan have 14 iron cannon frigates left. The Kushan, or not the Kushan, the Higarans have 9 frigates. So, yep, so far it looks like the tight end had gained the advantage. Let's see if they can keep it. They're keeping it so far. Hmm. Five left. Four left. So it looks like the tight end may have won this one. Very impressive. Three left, can they kill another one before they die? I don't think they can. Nope. It's a guard freaking sick in its last stand and it's dead. So it looks like the tight end won with 10 iron can frigates remaining and they're going after the scouts now nope nope don't attack the scout <laughs> it's just there so we can see things <laughs> well so the titan have won the second battle so that means we are alive so for the uh, tournament we have two left on the kushan um three on the titan two on the higaran and three on the tyrannic raiders now before we actually um, end this, um, we need to see what kind of research upgrade the Higarans will get. Will they get their hull upgraded or will they get the weapons upgraded? Apparently I just had Siri really, really, really low. <laughs> but Siri picked one. So that means in the next battle, or the next time that the, um, the Higarans get uh, summoned, they will have their ships will have a little bit more hull. The research uh, hull level one for them. Okay. Well, let's get to the next battle.
Hello everyone to fight number three of our um, Ion Cannon tournament and as you can see we finally get to use the Tyrannic Raiders. The um, RNG gods have declared that the Tyrannic Raiders must fight the Higarans and the Higarans have been upgraded since they lost one of their fights now they have more improved hull compared to the Tyrannic Raiders. I have a pretty good feeling that the Tyrannic Raiders are gonna lose us. I just I don't know I just have I have that gut feeling for this fight but 50 Tyrannic Raider Iron Array Frigates versus 50 Higaran Iron Array or <laughs> Iron Cannon Frigates. Let's let's get this battle going. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let me just make sure. Cool. I just want to make sure I have everyone selected. Tell them to attack, and then tell the other ones to attack. Yep. Yep. I'm controlling two computers at the same time, so hopefully things don't get too out of control. Set everyone up to where they're supposed to go. Go, go, go! And I need to add something in so that we can see how many units the enemy has, or that we have. Go, Iron Array Frigates. I have a feeling you're gonna lose this, but do it. Do it. Do it for me. Do it for me. I still can't get tired of all these beam wars. This is the third battle in this uh, um, this video, and it's it's still fun to watch. I don't know what it is about ships with giant particle beams um, going through the entire hull that is just so fun to watch. But it looks like um, iron array frigates are down to 32. Ion um, Hergar and ion can frigates are down to 31. So, so far, it looks like the Agarans are starting to get the advantage. It's still very, very, very crazy. Okay. The Iron Array Frigates, I love the design of these. They remind me of the, um, the Particle Cannon from um, Command & Conquer, the original that the GDI make. Because it has like the solar, the solar panels and the particle beam in the middle. So, so cool. Uh, but it looks like the Iron Array Frigates are at 21, and the Higarans are at 19. The Iron Array Frigates are fully ahead, despite the fact the Higarans have improved armor. Very interesting. I expect this to be a shoe win, or shoe off, with the Iron or Iron Can Frigates from the Higaran side. Very, very interesting. Everything is still going pretty well. Still a bunch of beams being flying off. Uh, the Higarans are now down to 12, and the, and the Iron Array Frigates are down to 15. I really expected the Iron Array Frigates to do a lot more damage. Or uh, to actually really just lose this fight. Um, you, would, you would think that the advanced technology of the Higarans with their venting technology would be... Um, would uh, be superior compared to a satellite with engines. <laughs> but the pirates, the pirates built good ships apparently. They do a pretty good job. Um, they're down to the Iron Array frigates are down to twelve. Higarns are down to five. So it looks like the Higarns might lose again. Yeah, it looks like they're definitely going to lose this match. Very, very interesting. I was totally expecting the Higarns to win this. We got one left. Can he do any damage? And he is dead. So the Iron Array Frigates won with 10 um, ships. Very, very interesting. Stop attacking! Don't kill the scouts! Add scouts out so we can see things. But anyways, um, that's a loss for the Higarns. So, without further ado, that brings the Higarns down to one. Um, and uh, yeah, so the Higarans were almost eliminated. Let's see what the next battle brings. Okay guys, um, welcome to battle number four. And the RNG gods have determined that the next battle are going to be the Tyrannic Raiders versus the Kushans. 
So um, this is going to be interesting. The Kushan have advantage in this fight because they are down to two points. So the RNG gods have deemed that the Kushan um, ships now have more firepower. So they can do more damage than normally. Their um, weapons have been upgraded by one level. So um, I'm actually thinking the Tyrannic Raiders will win this uh, because of the fact they beat the Higarans. And I think the Higarans are a little bit stronger than the Kushan. So, um, so I think the Kushan, despite the fact they have a weapon upgrade, will actually lose this fight. That's just my opinion, but let's get into the battle. Go ahead and select these guys and tell them to attack. Do the same thing on the other one. I apparently didn't have them quite far away enough, so the Iron Array frigates had a small advantage before I told the um, Kushan fighters or Kushan ships to actually attack. And let me go ahead and add that ship in. So, ah! Sorry! I was looking at my other computer. So here we go. Um, so far, it looks like we're kind of even, but things are definitely going quick. Will the ships with extremely large heat sinks for their ion cannons be able to beat the, um, the satellite ion cannon ships? We will see, but this is going quick with that. Um, with that upgrade. These guys are, we have 36, 35 Iron Can frigates, and we have 30 of the um, Kushan frigates. So it looks like the Tyrannic Raider Iron Can frigates are still really powerful, despite the fact the Kushan Iron Can frigates um, have an upgrade. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I actually thought that they would be weaker. This battle's going quick, and the, the uh, these guys are definitely winning. We have 24 Iron Array frigates, and we have 13 Kushan Iron Can frigates. Very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, they're annihilating them. Wow, that was like a wipeout. Holy crap. So the Tyrannic Raiders definitely won this match. Up, guys. Please kill the last one. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So apparently there was 20 Iron Array frigates left after that match, despite the fact that Kushan had an upgrade. Interesting. Well, that brings the Kushan team down to one. So now our current score is Kushan is at one, Tidans at three, Higarans at one, and Tyrannic Raiders are at three. So the Kushan and Higarans are getting close to being eliminated. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's move on to the next battle. Okay, welcome to the next fight. So the RNG gods have determined that the Tyrannic Raiders need to fight the Tidan Ion Cannon Frigates. <laughs> also, by the way, in case some of you guys are curious how I'm actually doing the whole RNG thing, I'm just telling um, my phone, I'm not gonna say the name so your phone don't go off. I'm just telling you to pick a number between one and four and whatever the phone picks, that's what I, that's how, that's what I put down. So yeah, so. Everything is RNG in this in this tournament. Anyways, neither one of these teams have lost a battle. They both have three points, which means they don't get any upgrades or anything. This is just a straight on um, 50 Ion Array Frigates versus 50 um, Tidan Ion Cannon Frigates. So let's go ahead and get the battle going. Let me get those guys going and then initiate it on the other computer and get to the action. Go ahead and add the scout into our unit so we can see how many um, how many guys we have. And go, 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 boys. Which team I think is going to win? The Tyrannic Raiders have kind of been very, very powerful, so I kind of think they're going to win this match too. Let's see, right now we have 43, 42 iron, 
Iron Array frigates, 41, and we got 36 Tidan frigates. Hmm. Or Tidan Iron Can frigates. I'm actually really surprised that the Tranic Raider Iron Can frigates do so much damage. I really, really would have thought that the uh, Tidan would have actually done a lot more. Hmm. Sure. So Tidan is now down to 30, or the uh, Tyrannic Raiders are down to 30, Tidan are down to 21. Wow. Never underestimate the power of Iron Array Frigates. They seem to be a very, very powerful compared to the other Ion Cannon Frigates. Alright, we're down to 12, um, 11 on the Tidan side. And we still have 23 on the Tyrannic Raider side. Interesting, interesting. So many beams going on. So many beams. Okay. So it looks like the Tyrannic Raiders will be winning this match. Which means the Tyrannic Raiders are still undefeated. Hopefully, maybe the other teams, when they improve their technology, might have a... I have a, um, what do you call it, an advantage. But yep, yeah, Tyrannic Raiders won, Tidan are now down to two, which means Kushan is at one, um, Nagarin is at one, uh, Tidan's at two, and Tyrannic Raiders are still undefeated with three points. All right, let's get ready for the next one. Hello everyone, welcome to our fifth matchup. Alrighty, so the RNG gods have declared the next matchup should be Kushan versus Tyrannic Raiders. Now, Tyrannic Raiders have been undefeated in this tournament so far, and the Kushan are down to their last life. So if they lose this round, they are out of the tournament. But um, they have their weapon systems upgraded, and they are in aggressive. So they do a lot more damage than they um, than their uh, base units. And let's see, hopefully that will be enough to take down the Tyrannic Raiders and finally get them off of the leaderboard. But let's get to the battle. Go, 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 boys. Show them that you are the superiors. Okay, okay, lots of beams being flying around. Lots and lots of ion beams being thrown around. Um, Ushan are down to 41. Tyrannic Raiders are still at 43. For Tyrannic Raiders still have the advantage. So lots and lots of beams going all over the place. It looks like the Tyrannic Raiders might be focusing on, like, focusing on certain ships, and the Kushan, I think, might be focusing on, like, none. Kind of hard to tell. Beams are just being flown around everywhere. Uh, Kushan's down to 28. Tyrannic Raiders are at 35. Okay, okay. So Tyrannic Raiders still look like they're leading. Lots and lots of beams. <laughs> I don't know why this. I could just watch this all all day. Like, if if these guys had like a hundred times their health, and just have these just be playing and shooting beams back and forth, and just having that like a screensaver for the computer, that would be amazing. Have like like the Kushan on like your right monitor, the beams going all the way through your middle monitor, and then have like the Tyrannic Raiders on the left monitor. That would be an amazing screensaver. So far, it looks like the Kushan are down to 14. Um, Tyrannic Raiders are at 24. So, so far, it looks like the Tyrannic Raiders are going to win. They have the advantage. Very, very interesting. It seems like no matter how many times I upgrade these ships, it seems like the Tyrannic Raiders seem to have the advantage. Very interesting to know. Now, again, the Kushan are still a work in progress, so their damage and health and everything will be adjusted in the future. It's just kind of interesting. Alright, we're down to one. 
who's taking a lot of damage, and the Tyrannic Raiders have won again. They had 20 left. Wow, that is amazing. So the Kushan are out of the tournament. They are out of lives. So now we are down to the uh, Tyrannic Raiders, the Tidan, and the Higarans for who has the ultimate Ion Cannon. Okay, let's get to the next battle. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to our next battle. The RNG gods have declared that the Higarn Iron Can Frigates will now fight the Tyrannic Raider Iron Can Frigates who are still undefeated in this tournament. They have three lives and the Higarns have one life. If the Higarns lose, they will be out of this tournament. So the Higarns, because of the factor down the one lives, have got a couple advantages that they can use. Um, they have their um, armor upgraded to level 2 so they can survive a little bit longer in combat and the Tyrannic Raiders still haven't lost any lives so they are still the standard bare bones ion cannon frigates or iron array frigates I should say. Anyways let's get into this battle let's see which group is gonna win this time. So let me issue the commands on both computers. There we go. They are now getting ready to engage. Tyrannic or Iron Can, uh, the Higarns will be at standard um, tactics. Same with the Iron Array frigates. So here they go. And there go the beams. Let me add a ship in so that we can see how many units we have left. There they go. There they go. The Iron Array frigates are down to 45. The Tyrannic or um, Pig Iron still have 45, but have dropped down to 44. Lots and lots of beams flying around across the battlefield. Will the Tyrannic Raiders remain undefeated after this match? Boom, boom, boom. So many cannons going by. Right now, it seems pretty even. Um, the Guards are at 34. The Tyrannic Raiders are now at 31. Tyrannic Raiders are actually slowly losing. Go, go, go. Keep launching those beams, boys. All right, the Garns are now down to 27, and um, Tyrannic Raiders are at 26. Actually, right now, it seems like it's kind of even. It keeps going back and forth, 24 and 24 now. This is going to be a close matchup. Still so many particle beams flying across the battlefield. So many particle beams, <laughs> or ion beams. I go, I go back and forth between particle beams and ion beams. To me, they're basically the same. I know that ion beams uses like electrons, and particle beams just use like a different type of particle system. But to me, they're basically the same. They're just a cannon with a giant beam of light coming out of them. Okay, Higarns are at 14. Tyrannic Raiders are at 15. It's still a very, very close matchup. The Tyrannic Raiders look like they're starting to use concentrated fire on very specific frigates. Where the Higarns, I think, are still doing, um, like, oh, well, they look like they're starting to concentrate their fire. The Higarns are now down to 10, Tyrannic Raiders are at 12, so Tyrannic Raiders have taken the lead. Still lots and lots of beams being flying around. Right, Higarns are at 8, Tyrannic Raiders are now at 9. It's still close. Now the Tyrannic Raiders are at 8, and Higarns are at 6. Tyrannic Raiders still have the advantage, but Higarns do have the extra defenses to hopefully survive a little bit longer. With the extra defenses, it does look like the match is lasting a lot longer, too. Ooh Come on, boys. 
Hegarans are at four, Tyrannic Raiders are at six, Hegarans just lost another one, they're now at three. Hegarans have six, they have double the firepower now, or double the ships I should say. Come on Hegarans, who are almost down the one, Tyrannic Raiders are at five. The Guardians are down to their last frigate, and the Tyrannic Raiders still have five frigates remaining. Ooh, and the Guardians are defeated. They are now out of this tournament. Tyrannic Raiders are still in the tournament. They are undefeated, but it's down to Tidan and the Tyrannic Raiders. Okay. So, let's get into the next battle. Okay, so now on to the next match, which we have two contestants left, the Tidan Iron Can Frigate and the Tyrannic Raiders Iron Array Frigate. Okay, ah, let me select them. There we go. So the Tidan have two lives left, the Tyrannic Raiders are still undefeated with three lives. And since the Tidan have two lives left, they get a buff, which have they have their um their armor upgraded, so they have a little bit more health than the, the starting Iron Can frigates. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this battle. Let me go ahead and turn off the music so we can put our own music in and editing. And let's do this. So you guys attack. <laughs> I didn't have the guy selected on the other computer yet. Attack. There we go. Attack these guys, dude. Apparently the tight end had some sort of uh, um, malfunction with their orders. There's a pretty good chance that they actually will die. But, so far, it looks like the Titan are down to 29, the Tyrannic Raiders are down to 33. Go, boys, go! Yeah, these Iron Array Frigates, man, they are very powerful. Tight ends down to 20, the Tyrannic Raiders are down to 28. Go tight end! Somebody needs to stop the Tyrannic Raider frigates. Wow, they just do so much damage. Which is funny because they do have a lot of health compared to the Iron Array frigates. Hmm. But then again, they just get annihilated. Wow. The Tyrannic Raiders still have 20 Iron Array frigates left. Wow. Okay, so the Tyrannic Raiders are still undefeated. The Titan are down to one point. I have a feeling the next match is going to be the final one. Hello everyone and welcome to what will probably be the final battle in this tournament. The Titan are down one point and the Tyrannic Raiders are still undefeated at three. I have a pretty good feeling the Tyrannic Raiders are going to win this match. So because of the fact this is most likely going to be the final, I decided to amp it up a little bit and we now have 100 Ion Titan Ion Cannon Frigates versus 100 Tyrannic Raider Frigates. They're kind of just all kind of confused back here in the back, but it's all good. They're fine. They're probably going to be a little bit lazy because of the fact their team is really, really undefeated. And so 
The Titan still have their um, armor upgrade and they have been put into aggressive formation or aggressive tactics to increase their damage. So let's see which one will win this time. Let me go ahead and issue the orders. And let's get into the battle. Okay, okay, things are going pretty well. Doo -doo -doo. So far, it seems like it's kind of, um, it's kind of balanced. We're at 89, 88 on the Titan, 90 on the, the Tyrannic Raiders. A lot, a lot of beams just flying around. It's so many iron array frigates. <laughs> so many frigates. A little time. Come on, tight end. I know you can push the Tyrannic Raiders back. I believe in you, boys. I know. They're still getting kind of um, wiped out. The tight end's down to 63. The Tyrannic Raiders are down to 69. Eh, nice. The Tyrannic Raiders seem like they're a lot more powerful than I thought they would be. I was thinking about this in the, um, before our... Um, a couple days ago and I think the Tyrannic Raiders just need their health uh, debuffed a lot like down to 11,000 12,000 and have their damage up to like where it currently is I feel like the Tyrannic Raiders just have a little bit too much armor because they're pirates they're supposed to be all aggressive no defensive so just just an observation I made but it looks like the Titan are down to 33 and the uh, Tyrannic Raiders still have 50 so they're definitely still in the lead I was not expecting the Tyrannic Raiders to be this good. I was not expecting it at all. I was actually expecting them to be one of the, the one or the first or second team to actually be defeated in this tournament. I wasn't expecting them to be undefeated. We're down to 17 on the Titan, and we have 41 on the Tyrannic Raiders. There's a pretty good chance the Tyrannic Raiders are going to win this. And Tyrannic Raiders have had no upgrades whatsoever. They're still on a neutral tactics and they don't have their health or damage upgrade. Where the Titan have their health upgraded and they're in aggressive stance, so they have more damage. Very, very interesting. Tyrannic Raiders have 36 and the Titan are down to three. Yeah, they annihilated the Titan. Wow, they have 36 frigates left. So yeah. Um, congratulations, Tyrannic Raiders. You are the ultimate Ion Cannon Frigate in the FX Galaxy. And I believe they probably need to be a little bit nerfed. I I, I think their, their damage is fine, but I think their health needs to be dropped. Let's see how much health they actually have without any upgrades. 14,200, and they do 350 damage. Where I think the, the Titan had like 18,000 health and did like 300 damage or something. So, yeah. But that's the end of the tournament. I, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I know this is a very different style than what I normally do, and it's been kind of I've been kind of working on it the past one or two weeks, like on and off, not all at once, obviously. Um, but it's, I'm probably gonna do more about this um, with FX Galaxy, maybe Complex. Um, but again, it, it's gonna be a while before these come out because they require a lot of recording and a lot of editing and a lot of preparation. Like each one of these battles probably took a good 20 minutes to prep uh, because every time we did had a new battle except for these last two since the ch teams weren't changing i always changed the background so we played on a different map anyways guys i hope you enjoy this uh please leave a like if you did congratulations to the traumatic raiders again for winning the tournament being the ultimate ion can frigate hope you guys enjoy this please leave a like if you did if you'd like what i do consider subscribing and i'll check you guys out in the next video until next time this is Captain Sobon signing out. This is the Garden of Kadesh. For 13 generations we have protected it from the unclean. If you have come to join me, welcome you. And we'll spare you your ship until all have disembarked. If you have come to consume the Garden, you will be removed 
at once. What are your intentions? <laughs> 